This is Blackout. What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and today is June 11th, which is when Alcatraz was promised to return here within Black Isle, along with two new destinations, Submarine and Shipwreck. So, as they officially said, uh, these two new destinations were scheduled to arrive on June 11th to PlayStation 4 owners with other platforms to follow, which adds a further layer of action and complexity to your Blackout matches on this island prison. Currently docked along the northern edge of the island is the Icebreaker Submarine. Over on the south side is a shipwreck you might recognize from Contraband and useful for piloting between these two areas is the Tactical Raft, allowing water-based action around the perimeter of the prison. So in all honesty, these two new destinations are pretty smooth, feel very natural to the map, and the boat definitely makes it a lot easier to get to these locations. And I always made it clear when Alcatraz released that if they gave us more of a reason to be towards the water, then a boat would definitely be fitting or some type of tactical raft would be very fitting to get around to places a lot faster. And I think it's nice how they're updating parts of Alcatraz with every update. Of course, when they returned back in Spectre Rising, they opened a couple of new areas around the map, put a hole in the wall here, put a door there, put a ladder over here. So they definitely put some cool new additions on the map to make the gameplay a lot smoother. And as I also said, back when they introduced Alcatraz, I think it's great that they have a little bit of a different map for Blackout players. If they're not really a fan of some of the slow paced action that might come with playing on the core blackout map especially with ground war 50 v 50 which to me was pretty damn slow paced you really couldn't get anywhere until the end of the game when people were really really noticeable but towards the beginning of those matches very slow paced you'll be lucky to get one or two kills while your other teammates are hogging the rest of course there's 50 other teammates or excuse me 49 other teammates on your team trying to go for kills so it's pretty hard to kill hog on ground war to really get that far but when you get towards the end of a match obviously you'll have some fun action with supply drops specialist weapons etc but obviously i feel like you have a lot faster gameplay playing solos on the core blackout map maybe duos here and there but quads can also drag sometimes as well it really depends on who you're playing with on that big ass map but when it comes to alcatraz it's almost like playing tdm on blackout obviously down but not out is a feature for alcatraz portals so if you do die you can respawn but the gameplay is so damn fast paced and there's so much you can do while playing on it obviously a lot of the zombie character quest items are featured on alcatraz as well so if you have trouble going for those items on the core blackout experience you can always go for them here on alcatraz but still want to showcase these new destinations here in a video so without further ado enjoy the rest of the gameplay Sith rep, potential collapse detected. Relocation to indicated safe zone is advised. Drop incoming.
sit rep. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. 